time, space, speed, energy. We toss these words around every day, but do we really grasp what they mean? I'm going to attempt the impossible, asking the Einstein to explain special relativity once and for all. Professor Einstein, welcome to the 21st century. I can't even imagine what you think of it. Thank you. I see your technologies are remarkable, but do you still argue about what time truly is? Ha, oh, constantly. So let's rewind a bit. What ignited your quest for relativity? When I was 16, I imagined what it would be like to ride alongside a beam of light. What would I see? Could I catch it? And I realized Newton's laws, as elegant as they were, simply fell apart, if that were possible. It was a paradox. A very inconvenient truth for physics. That one persistent thought, that stuborn, rebellious idea, led to a revolution. Time and space, I realized, must adjust themselves to protect the speed of light. They dance together. So, let's get down to brass tacks. What's the foundation of special relativity? What makes it so special? I began with just two guiding principles, two assumptions, if you will. The laws of physics are the same in all inertial frames. That is frames of reference moving at a constant speed. And this is crucial. The speed of light is constant, regardless of how fast the source of the light is moving. Even if I'm rocketing through space in a super fast spaceship at near light speed. Precisely. Light moves at 299,792 kilometers per second, always. It's a cosmic speed limit. To make that possible, time and space must, shall we say, yield. Wait, so it's not the light that adjusts. It's us, our perception, our measurements. You've grasped the essence. That's the heart of relativity. The observer matters. Okay. Let's dive into the bizarre. Time itself slows down. That sounds like science fiction. Perhaps. But reality often surpasses fiction. If you're moving very, very fast, a clock you carry ticks more slowly from the perspective of someone at rest. This is time dilation. It's not theoretical fluff, it's real. GPS satellites correct for it constantly. Without that correction, your navigation apps would be hopelessly wrong. So astronauts literally age less? Slightly. The effect is subtle at their velocities. But if they were to journey near light speed, the difference becomes dramatic. A journey of five years for them might translate to 500 years passing on Earth. Imagine returning to a world completely changed. Would we feel time slowing down? Not at all. For you, time would always flow normally. Time dilation is an effect observed from a different frame of reference, a perspective that's moving at a different speed relative to you. It's about comparing measurements. All right, what about space itself? Does it also stretch out like taffy? No, it contracts. A moving object appears shorter in the direction it's traveling. But remember, only from the perspective of an outside observer. Time stretches, space shrinks, it's all a matter of perspective. To yourself, everything feels perfectly normal. It's like looking at a reflection, distorted, but still you. Let's tackle the big one. E equals MC squared. The most famous formula on Earth, maybe even in the galaxy. What does it really tell us? Ah, Z equation. In its essence, it tells us that mass and energy are fundamentally the same thing. They are interchangeable, two sides of the same coin. Mass is simply a very concentrated form of energy. Ziz explains why the sun shines, why nuclear reactions are so incredibly powerful. Even a tiny gram of mass, then converted entirely into energy, can release an amount of energy equivalent to Z explosion at Hiroshima. Incredible and terrifying. Indeed. Knowledge is a tool its impact hinges on how we wield it. The choice rests with you. Some people claim relativity means everything is relative, there's no objective truth. 
Is that true? Absolutely not. That is a profound misunderstanding. Relativity asserts that certain things remain absolute, constant for all observers, like the speed of light. It's about consistent laws across all frames of reference, not about utter chaos. So, truth still exists, it's just viewed from different angles? Precisely. Like examining a mountain from various vantage points, it's still the same mountain, just a different perspective. Relativity clarifies those perspectives. Why does this all matter now, over a century later, beyond abstract physics? Because it unveils a reality that is not static, not fixed. It's dynamic, fluid. And you are an integral part of that dance, in time, in motion. Without relativity, your smartphones wouldn't function correctly, particle accelerators couldn't probe the universe's mysteries, and your deep space telescopes would be hopelessly misaligned. Relativity is not just a theory, it's the foundation of much of our modern world. We inhabit a universe far more adaptable, far stranger than we could have ever imagined. And thanks to Einstein, we know where to begin our exploration. Never stop questioning. That is how we move forward, in physics and in life. As I always say, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Stay, Stay curious. curious. Stay, Stay future, future ready. ready.